there everyone, Darren here at the Seco Science Center. I am here today to show you two very small but cute and important animals here at the Seco Science Center. I have a couple examples of mollusks. If we take a look at this periwinkle, the periwinkle has a soft body that is being covered by this protective shell of theirs. They actually grow that shell themselves with calcium from their food that they digest and also from their surroundings like the rocks and sediments in the ocean. That helps them protect them from wave action in the intertidal zone as well as their predators that are trying to eat them. To see it moving around with its strong muscular foot. That strong muscular foot is also what helps them suction onto rocky surfaces and other substrates to help them hold on for a bumpy ride in the intertidal zone. This suction foot is also going to help them burrow into sand as well. Periwinkles and other mollusks such as the dog whelk have the ability to survive out of water for long periods of time by shutting their operculum and trapping water inside to keep them moist and able to breathe. I have a dog whelk right here in my hand. This is the underside of a dog whelk and the above side. They are usually white and have a spirally pointed shell. That is the animal right there. The dog whelks feed on other mollusks such as periwinkles that I was just showing you, barnacles and mussels. They bore into shells using their radulas, drill-like tongues with tiny teeth, and they will insert enzymes that digest the prey within its shell and slurp it all out using its proboscis into its mouth like a slurpee. That radula and proboscis come from this line right here, right out from their shell into another animal. They will drill a tiny hole and they'll slurp out the animal from the inside of that shell that is trying to protect them. The operculum is the trap door I was talking about, which is right here on this dog walk. So the creamy whitish soft body is the actual animal. And if you see that darker lid right on top, that right here on top is the operculum. That is the little trap door and it will close all the way when it needs to, when it's scared and hiding from a predator. And it also will do that when it needs to keep water, moisture, and oxygen inside its body. Those are just a few adaptations that mollusks have, such as the periwinkle and the dog whelks. I hope you had fun learning and have fun exploring.